your money and it's your power and fame. So you, you could do whatever you want with it. But this is how you ultimately get into these problems. Like, for example, the whole uh, situation with the baby. You know, I've talked about this in a few interviews. It's like, you just can't, you can't go around beating up promoters because they short you anymore. Right. Not, not when you're a millionaire. Yeah. Oh. Nah. Like, you got to handle that in court or you just got to take that L. Yeah. It's not back in your, your hustling days when, you know, hell, oh, oh. oh. They ripped him off for ten grand. Now everyone gonna rip him off now. Like, right. No, it's, it's not like that. The amount of money that the baby lost by getting locked up was way more than ten thousand, and that's going to carry because oh, yeah. people gonna look at him and say, "That's the guy that keeps beating people up and pulling their pants down." Yeah, I can't. They don't insure. Like, Pepsi yeah, doesn't want nothing to do. We with don't. This. Yep, they think they're invincible, and they don't got good counsel. They don't have good. You need counsel. good counsel. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want somebody? Hey. I want to keep my career and I want us all to win. When I'm doing loser shit, fucking tell me. But then it's that fear of being fired. Because then sometimes you get a motherfucker say, hey, you shouldn't do that. Yo, get the fuck out of here. I do the fuck. You see what I'm saying? No, listen, I, I was listening to, there's a podcast I really like called The Gangster Chronicles. Okay. It's with uh, Mob James, uh, one of our regular guests. And uh, they had MC8. Ooh, uh, on, on their show. Chia, Chia, wake yourself up, fool. Chia, uh, and who, who, who I've interviewed as well. Love MC8, and you know MC MC8 was really banging. Like when he was really popping, he was really like crypt out. Real and deal. He ain't no and, joke. And, and they were talking in the interview. They said, "Yo, you know, when you were at your height and whatever, how often did y'all get into it? You know, get into situations when you were like, you know, in different cities and stuff like that." And he goes, "Honestly, he's like, I can only remember one time." You know, oh, why is that? He goes, well, because honestly, man, like, we were all so happy that we had this major label behind us. Yeah. And, and we had these record label people and everything. We know that if we just start shooting people and, and beating people up, that we're going to scare these guys off. We're going to be right back in our neighborhood again. Yep. Like, we're not going to be getting going on these tours. We're not going to be able to put out these albums. We, you know, like, he was he's a smart guy. Yeah. He was really like, nah, like, we're not doing that. You know, and as him being the leader of that group, yeah. he's able to control his entourage and say, like, we're not doing this. Yes. Someone has to take the reins, man. And and look, he, you know, he's not the world's biggest artist, but no. he's he's able to, you know, maintain a nice lifestyle. He still does shows. He still puts out albums. He coaches uh, football now, like kids' football teams oh, cool. and stuff she like that. What, what, he, FC8? Yeah. He'd be like, we got to score them touchdowns, fool. Fool. Cheer, we losing, fool. Run your routes, fool. Always remember, if you can't catch the ball, fool, you're going to get cut. Cheer. Yeah, man, because look at Kodak Black, man. Four years. He's, and it seems like he's fucked up in prison. He's, he's putting these Instagram posts. Saying they're they're locking him in a bathroom. See and, you and later. They're trying to kill him. and Man, like he was on top of the world, world, man. He was doing $100,000 shows. He had platinum singles. Gold albums, I just, people I loved just, them. I just don't understand why you don't get somebody to tell you, nah, man. Like, I, some people are just, sometimes you got those, what do they call it, sink offense. Sink offense, right? Sink offense, they're that hang on, and they're just like so happy they're here, and then they'll laugh at everything you do. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, they're motherfucker. No, if the shit ain't funny, don't laugh at it. It's like it's like Sonny in Bronx Tale. He goes, you know when those guys, he said, like, is it better to be loved or feared? And you interviewed that guy who played collagenal. And he goes, I mean, if you notice, when I tell jokes, when I, when they laugh. I'm funny, but I'm not that funny. <laughs> it's because they fear me. Yeah. It's a fear thing. A fear of being fired, a fear of being yelled at, a fear thing. And they're just like, so all, in awe of you, which is, I get, listen, it's good to be around successful people. But that, fu I don't want, I want people to be honestly, listen, I don't need you to go, Hey, man, don't do that shit to be different. No, do something which you go, that doesn't seem like your character. I don't think you should do it. We should have a discussion because we're all trying to win. I don't want to fuck up. You know what I mean? You should have a discussion. Like you said, I may do something because I feel like I really want to do it. I go, I'm just going to take that chance. I listened to you. I heard you out. But I believe, because you, you should be able to go on your own thing too. Absolutely. But there should be... Counsel, right. like, ah, when, when, nah. someone, when someone tells you, when you say, hey, I'm about to go 
buy a bunch of guns and lie on my gun application about being on probation and yeah. being a felon and whatever else. No, dog. That's stupid. And they tell you no. Yeah, and yeah. You still do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and one of the guns is found at the scene of a shooting. Yeah. We told you. Yeah, it's not enough counsel because it's always the same. Every time you notice somebody that's famous, especially in our in our in our culture, it's always 900 motherfuckers with them. They bring their dudes with them. It's nine, it's 80 dudes. For like one, you got god damn, like you know what I mean? It'd be 80 dudes that mean mugging, like, yes, my man right there. My, they bring up which is fine. I've never liked that. But it's I, I but I don't understand I, I, why I, it's the same. And, and I, I, I could why do, is it the same scenario? I, I could do that. Like I could I could bring Yeah, 30, yeah, yeah, 40 of course. People, but then now you're responsible for all these people. Yeah. I like having one, maybe two at the very That's most. It. And usually they're my friends. Right. Like me, I could people say, How come you never have anybody around you? I could do that. Yeah. But I'm I'm the one telling the jokes. Fuck them. <laughs> I'm the one telling. The, but you know, maybe at some point I may need someone to go. Hey, I mean, I need somebody. Boom. You know, who knows? But to have twenty motherfuckers, they always say the bigger the group, the lower the IQ. You know what I mean? The thinking. The, Wait, think, the bigger the group, the lower the lower the IQ. IQ. Yeah, because you know it's like a group of men. You know, you get a group of men. All of a sudden, you know, they start saying crazy shit to women and all this other shit. You know what I mean? The collective gets worse. You know what I mean? Because, the, you know, when you have too many people thinking and too many heads around, it starts to get convoluted and shit. Some motherfuckers be like, yo, what's up, bitch? Yo, shut the fuck up. You can't do that. You know, but when it's a little smaller and a little tighter, everybody moves in unison a little a little better. You know what I mean? Listen, when I when I move, you see me out. Yeah. I have one, maybe two people. That's and, it. And I, I set the direction of how we're moving. Everyone understands that, you know. Mm-hmm. Not that these are yes men or, or whatever no, else, but, but it's like, yo, like like we, we have an understanding of how we're going to do it. We're not going, yeah. to, going to be aggressive. No. Any any problems will be handled in a self-defensive manner. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's that. We're not, we're, we're there to either have fun or do business. Yeah. And that's it. That's you it. Go home. Right. Everyone's happy. Everyone had fun. I'll cover, I'll cover all the bills and everyone, everyone's happy with it. That's, that's cool. That's cool. That's how it should be, you know. Yeah. But you know, and especially if you're going with yield young ass knucklehead mother, they, uh, they bring other knuckleheads with them. They don't bring like old school cats going, yo, uh, uh, we ain't having that. It's always like they look like them. They be like, yeah, it's my man right there. Yo, that's my man. That's little baby. That's smaller baby. That's tinier baby. That's uh, <laughs> minuscule baby. Minuscule baby. That's real microscopic baby. Microscopic that's all baby. these babies, man. Yo, that's my baby right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all these baby heads. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. Well, listen. Yo. Godfrey, always a pleasure. Big pleasure. Follow me on Instagram, Comedian Godfrey, and com uh, GodfreyComedian.com so you know where the fuck I'm going to be. And my podcast in Godfrey We Trust, Gas Digital Network. Subscribe to that shit. You understand? Yeah. Until next time. Yeah, yeah. Peace. Okay.